hello everyone today we are going to work on this butterfly particle effect so here you can see millions of butterflies and they are generated through an agora system and all of these are static meshes but even though they are static meshes you can see the flying animations are added to the butterflies so they look like flying butterflies so i'm gonna show you how to create how to export the mesh from blender in such a way that we can animate static meshes using a special blender add-on and how to import it into unreal and set up the static mesh and the material to get the animations into the static mesh using vertex and move target base animations and after that we are going to create the niagara particle system so that you will have millions of butterflies just like what you see here so to set up this system we need this mobs it's also a texture and this normals also a texture and then the material that I created using these textures and that material applied into this static mesh so if I just drag and drop this static mesh it's a bit small let me make it larger so here you see even though it is a static mesh it has a animation that comes from this material so these are the things that we are going to work on okay and before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel once you become a member in the patreon page you can download any project file without a limit so you will instantly have access to all thousands of projects in my patreon page so feel free to check it out link would be in the description below all right let's get back to today's tutorial so the first thing we need to create is an animation with a model in blender so here i have created this simple butterfly it has a simple rig and this simple animation a flying animation for the butterfly so now the next step is installing this uh, plugin for blender i'll leave the link in description below and i'm actually following this guide in i found in unreal forum by josh bogart thanks for making the guide and thanks for making this tool so here you can go to the repository and download it as a zip if you don't know how to install a plugin in blender you can go to edit preferences and then add-ons and install here you can directly install it using the zip folder you can create select whatever the zip folder that you have downloaded and just press install so after that you would see these unreal tools mesh mover and unreal tools vertex animation plugins enable them then you will get this unreal tools tab here by the way i am using blend uh, 3.22 so i'm not going to show you how to create the model or how to do the animation there are many tutorials covers that part so now go to unreal tools and then select this mesh and press process anim meshes okay now once you do that you're gonna get three things one is this export mesh so if i hide the original mesh and the rig now you see in white a new mesh is created it's called export mesh this is the mesh that we need to export into unreal and in the uv editing here you will see this normals and offset here i see two because earlier also i tried this so that's why i already had this zero normals and offsets so the new one newly created one is normal zero zero one and offset zero zero one so if you are trying for the one first time you wouldn't get two so first 
let's export this mesh select the export mesh go to export fbx and i'll export it here so i'll limit to selected objects because i only need this export mesh to export and is it up x forward i think the rest should be fine and hit export by the way when you try this operation there are some constraints such as you can't have any modifiers in this mesh so you will have to apply the modifiers first and also there is something about i remember having to set the unity scale to 0.001 i have already done that so i didn't get the errors but you might get them if you uh, settings are not in that way here on the modeling you can see units that's where you should change it in case you get the error now go to the uv editing and select this normal 001 so this is the newly created normals texture you can go to image and save as and select bmp rgb options and i'll call it normals and save image then select this offsets and save this one as a open exr float half and rgba i call this mops and because mops is the name referred to this texture and the guide okay export now let's go to unreal here i'll create a new blank project called butterfly before we import i'll create a new folder butterfly and first i'll import the fbx as a static mesh now let's import the normals and the mops so for the normals we need to use the texture group ui and the compression settings let's try this vector displacement map and disable as rgb and new stream enable it map cloud options uh, oh, filter nearest oh by the way there were some options that i need to use for the butterfly as well i forgot to check them so let me re-import and show you here advance and lower need this and this and enable combine meshes just in case and disable generate light map uvs that's all and hit import drag and drop here again i'll set the scale like this so you can clearly see the butterfly and as for the mobs or the exr there are also some settings before that in the mesh there were some load settings that i have to make sure use full precision uvs and distance field resolution scale is zero and apply for the mobs or so xr file again texture group is ui and compression settings hdr let's try this high precision enable never stream and make sure srgb is disabled okay um, save everything oh, test map now let me drag and drop this normals into here so it will automatically create a material texture objects because the next material panel function that we are going to use need them as inputs texture objects okay then uh, there is a node ms vertex animation mob targets should be based on 
this number of mobs that means here this is a 160 166 by 90 then here we need uh, some additional options go to advanced when you select the main node of the material or when you haven't selected anything disable this tangent space normal and set number of custom UVs to 4 now you got additional UV inputs so custom UV 2 here 3 here and world position offset should go here and uh, pixel shader vertex normal should go here okay now apply now you see an animation of flying of the butterfly in this static mesh so this is driver driven from the material itself now one more thing so if you want to speed up the animation one way would be just making it faster in the blender or you can edit this node but this node is a part of the engine code if i browse here you see it's inside the engine therefore i'll duplicate this preview const uh, as the preview i'll set for and connect it and apply now here we have animation speed multiplier I'll promote this to a variable. It shouldn't be zero. Let's try something like 36. Now we see the butterfly is flying, flapping fast. Okay, now we have our mesh with the animation. Next step is creating the particle effect. So let's go to FX, Niagara system, new system from selected emitters. I'll choose this hanging particles and finish ns butterflies okay now instead of these particles let me add a mesh renderer and as for the mesh we give butterfly so it's very small you can barely see them here so let's go to initialize particle and mesh attributes mesh scale mode i'll set it to random uniform minimum 30 maximum 40 okay so this is what i get and we haven't applied this material into the mesh itself so let's Go to the mesh and apply the butterfly material we created. Now we have the flying butterflies, but they are flying everyone in the same time in the same way, which is something we need to fix. Let's go back to the material. Here we have the time is actually here. So what if I change the time a little bit? That means yeah time. So even if I connect it like this and apply, nothing would change. But if I add to this something, we have something called particle random value let's try adding that and see if we get a difference yeah see now they are not uh, flapping wings at the same time great so now we can work on the particle seems okay now they have some kind of randomization frequency what if i reduce this yeah that seems more natural Okay, that part is right. Oh, one more important thing. They are always facing the same direction. So to fix that, we are facing mode, I'll set it to velocity. Now they will be facing the direction that they are moving. Okay, that's better. 
now we need to have different colors so i don't have textures at the moment applied for any of these models so we have to rely on colors mm. here if i just change it yeah it changes but instead of having a color can we have select linear color from an array okay now here color data red white blue yellow green put whatever the color you want purple and then uh, array sample in mode set it to random so you should get random colors for random butterflies like this okay now we have multicolored butterflies flying around with animations and if you need to increase their density all you have to do is spawn rate 100 now you should have more butterflies okay so yeah that's all i wanted to do for today now here you have an animated butterfly particle created with niagara with animations so here is the final demonstration of the effect that we created So thanks for watching, as always updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And feel free to let me know what else you guys would like to see in similar particle effects and also I may try to add some more entries to this system such as uh, landing butterflies on ground and then flying away when someone goes there, things like that or spawn butterflies along a spline path something like that too so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye